This first video was uploaded by a YouTuber who created his channel to document the weird things going on in his house. He finds that the screwdriver on his kitchen counter seems to be moving on its own, so he checks under the cabinet to apparently show there's no kind of trickery underneath, and also shows there's no kinds of magnets or anything when he picks up the screwdriver. After that, stomps can be heard from above him in the attic, so he goes up there to check. Hello? Hello? After finding nothing, the video cuts out. Randonautica is an app that sends you on a random adventure to explore the world around you. The app randomly generates a point on the map that you have to follow the way to. People have been reporting finding weird and paranormal things at their destinations, such as in this video. The app sent the person who recorded this video to a ditch in the middle of nowhere by a highway. Inside of the ditch, he found one tricycle and one small bike with training wheels. At the end of the video, very faint children's laughter can be heard. This is a short and straightforward clip of a man sitting in his bed in a dimly lit room who started recording after hearing noises and seeing his door slightly move. This is what he caught. The man was brave enough to get up right away and check the darkness outside of his bedroom, only to find nothing. This video was filmed by a boy recording his friend jumping into his trampoline. As the two are having their fun, you can notice something in the left corner of the video. You can see a figure dressed in white with black hair crawling out from under the trampoline. To this day, the two say they have no idea who the person was. This footage was taken by YouTuber Franco TV, the location being the old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee, regarded as one of the most haunted buildings in America. Throughout the video, various sounds and voices can be heard and things can be seen moving throughout the hospital. As Franco enters the in-house pharmacy, Viewers believe they can hear a voice saying either get out or hello. Seconds later, three medicine bottles fall over completely on their own. Night vision, the other side there. and backwards um and it's oxycodone that is a very very addictive drug and there is a spirit here that haunts this place that apparently is always waiting for 
for a drug dealer or whatever to come in here that overdosed in this hospital. Later on in the video, after many creepy mannequins, dolls, and moving objects later, Franco finds himself in a hallway where a child's horse toy is seen rocking back and forth on its own and making noises. This leads Franco to believe there's a child spirit in the hallway with him. Oh my God. And it's on. What the hell? Is that your horse? Do you like playing with the horse? I feel like this is like a child's spirit in this room. And it oddly got actually cold. The video truly does make this hospital seem like a hotbed of paranormal activity. This is the video a Redditor captured of their baby. The baby seems to be struggling to hold onto the remote as though an unseen presence is trying to grab it from him. The baby even says no and stop. If that doesn't convince you, the truly shocking part is towards the end of the video here, where the remote can literally be seen flying out of the baby's hands to the left, only for him to reach and grab it to stop it. So was this a setup by the parents, or was something else really in the room trying to grab the remote from the child? This is another video involving a baby, this one captured on a baby monitor. Throughout the video, an orb can be seen hovering over the baby's crib. However, on a few separate occasions, the baby's legs can be seen being pulled by something, though you can't see by what. The movement is not one the baby would be able to make on its own, as it can actually be seen being dragged around the crib. The orb also seems to move in the general direction that the baby is being pulled. Given that not many sane parents would be willing to set up a rather cruel hoax like this, it may be a little less easy to dismiss. This one is really freaky. This is the footage captured by a surveillance camera aimed at a valuable World War II era ventriloquist doll in its case. In the middle of one night, the case door begins to swing open and closed, but the most disturbing part of the video is when the doll's eyes open and close and its lips appear to move. In addition to this, orbs can be seen flying around throughout the video. How would you personally try to explain this one? Most new cars these days come equipped with high-tech camera systems, some of which can detect when a person is present around the car to help the driver stay more aware and avoid hitting anyone. But what if your car detected someone that wasn't there? This man took out his phone and began to record when he noticed on the dashboard of his M3 that the car was sensing the presence of a person in the front right of the car. However, there is no one visibly standing out there. This could seem like a scene straight from the movie Bird Box. This last video was taken during a police operation in Brazil in what appears to be an abandoned hospital. The police all seem to be confused and shook as they witness what appears to be a door repeatedly swinging open and slamming shut on its own. Cuidado, Judá. Cuidado, mano. Que que é isso, mano? Mano, não tem nada. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Mano, que que é isso, bicho? As they examine the door, no strings or any other forms of trickery could be seen in the video. Vai, mano, vai, vai, mano. Vai, mano, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. The group of officers run away after something behind them falls. It's unknown what it was. 
This holds up to be one of the more credible videos that have recently surfaced on the internet.